topic uh, per oxisome as uh, the name indicate uh, related with the peroxides and uh, they are uh, somehow related with the lysosome because uh, they are also part of uh, our uh, secretory cellular secretory pathways peroxisomes were also uh, first reported by uh, christian dido the uh, scientist who reported uh, lysosomes and uh, they are found in eukaryotic cells uh, specifically in those cells which are involved in metabolism of fatty acids or other metabolites uh, peroxisomes jo hain wo basically uh, sirf uh, detoxification ka function perform nahi karte they are involved in multiple functions performed within the cell because of the enzymes they uh, have one of the function is uh, beta oxidation or the metabolism of the fatty acid also starts in the peroxisomes if we look at its structure you can see it has a double membrane uh, lip, uh, sorry double layered uh, lipid bilayer membrane single membrane which is made up of lipid bilayer and uh, uh, the inner contents of uh, uh, the peroxisome are separated by this membrane from the cytosol this uh, inner side of the peroxisome it contains uh, uh, enzymes which uh, are sometime present in the form of a crystalline core and most of the uh, reaction uh, that uh, uh, metabolic reaction and uh, oxidation reduction reaction uh, they are going to uh, happen within peroxisome as a result of which uh, hydrogen peroxide is produced and uh, that hydrogen peroxide is immediately uh, metabolized to detoxify it ab aage chal ke uski function ke hawale se baat karte hain then uh, there are uh, present uh, number of proteins in the uh, membrane because uh, uh, the enzymes which are required by uh, the peroxisome for its functioning they are not synthesized within the uh, peroxisome because there is no uh, dna present so all the enzymes they are translated in the cytoplasm and later on they are transferred uh, to the peroxisome if we look at its <clears throat> uh, evolution and its occurrence isse pehle main aapko bata dun there are around 12 genes which are involved in the synthesis of peroxisome i would say there are uh, uh, some proteins which are part of the membrane there are some enzymes which are present within the uh, within this um, uh, organelle so uh, at least there are 12 genes which are involved in the synthesis of peroxisome as far as uh, their evolution and occurrence is concerned they are found in every kind of or virtually in every type of eukaryotic cell they are not found in prokaryotic cells and uh, when we say uh, eukaryotic cells they uh, deal with mainly uh, the uh, Uh, very uh, beta oxidation process uh, to initiate the beta oxidation of uh, long chain very long chain fatty acids and uh, if we compare uh, their uh, ability to uh, replicate they are uh, self replicating just like mitochondria however they differ from mitochondria in not having the dna not having uh, the ribosome and other things but they uh, are self replicating usme hum ek cheez jo understand kar sakte hain jis process ko apne binary fission ka naam se pada hua hai that they can be pinched from the center and from one uh, peroxisome you may get uh, two peroxisomes so uh, as i mentioned these are related with the lysosome but they are uh, uh, different in a way that they have sometime crystalline core and besides this important point if you remember the enzymes for uh, golgi complex they uh, were modified and they were processed in golgi complex and later on uh, these enzymes were budded off from the golgi complex to make up the lysosomes whereas the peroxisomal enzymes they are uh, not processed in uh, in the golgi complex rather the peroxisomal uh, or enzymes are processed in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and from rough endoplasmic reticulum these peroxisomes they bud off and they are ready to perform their function so this is one of the difference uh, between lysosome and peroxisomes when we look at the uh, uh, enzymes present in uh, peroxisome we can categorize them into four different categories like 
catalase, amino acid oxidase, urate oxidase, and glycolate oxidase. If uh, we look at these three last three enzymes, these are mainly involved in oxidation and reduction reaction. You can see the example here. And these oxidases, when uh, they uh, act, they produce the hydrogen peroxide within this organelle. And uh, this hydrogen peroxide or any peroxide which is synthesized in the cell is toxic. Uh, so it is immediately detoxified and uh, for detoxification the enzyme is catalase which is also found in the peroxisome so catalase is going to detoxify the uh, hydrogen peroxide whereas the other three enzymes which are oxidases they are involved in the production of hydrogen peroxide how the hydrogen peroxide is produced is a simple if you look at this biochemical reaction uh, molecular oxygen aage chal ke bhi iski baat mitochondria mein karenge molecular oxygen ke bare mein aapne jo padha hai that this is uh, very vital for the survival of uh, the cell for the survival of human being but this is very toxic uh, for the cell as well aur uh, uski toxicity kaise hai because of its ability molecular oxygen is highly reactive within the cell it can react with any organic compound with who have the hydrogen uh, uh, attached with it or is uh, any uh, organic compound attached with it uh, and this hydrogen is uh, taken up by this uh, oxygen leaving behind the uh, organic compound and uh, then uh, this hydrogen peroxide uh, which is immediately detoxified in the second step again using an other organic compound as an uh, as a further hydrogen donor so that this uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide can be converted into two molecules of uh, uh, water so if you see here oxidation reduction is the main uh, reaction which is being uh, performed for generation of hydrogen peroxide as well as for uh, detoxification of hydrogen peroxide reaction they are important uh, in liver and kidney cells for the reason if you remember the function of the liver and kidney livers are involved in uh, detoxifying and cleaning the blood uh, to uh, remove the uh, uh, remove the different toxicant which are uh, part of the uh, circulatory blood so uh, there is possibility of having uh, uh, these uh, organic uh, these uh, chemical reaction to produce the hydrogen peroxide as well as kidneys they are uh, uh, related with the excretion the same thing can happen in the kidney cells for production of hydrogen peroxide if we look at this picture this picture is a summary uh, of cellular hydrogen peroxide production keep in mind this is not always uh, peroxisome jahan pe hydrogen peroxide produce hoti hai hydrogen peroxide can be produced in cytoplasm it can be produced in mitochondria so wherever uh, it is uh, produced uh, the uh, uh, the uh, detoxification involves uh, uh, reducing uh, and oxidizing agent within the cytoplasm uh, this is um, glutathione jisko yahan pe gsh ke sath represent kiya gaya hai it is uh, going to uh, detoxify the hydrogen peroxide into water in the cytoplasm and this gsh which is probably yes this is the reduced glutathione is converted into oxidized glutathione it is converted back to reduced uh, uh, glut glutathione with the help of another coenzyme nadph and the same uh, kind of uh, mechanism keeps on going uh, in the uh, in the mitochondria so uh, we can say that same chemical reaction under the uh, uh, under the control of uh, catalase or uh, other uh, oxid uh, oxidizing and reducing agents uh, can keep on uh, going uh, in the mitochondria in the cytoplasm and in the peroxisome when we talk about beta oxidation aap uh, metabolism mein padhenge uh, carbohydrate ke metabolism mein you might have studied beta oxidation enzymes are found in mitochondria but besides mitochondria these enzymes also uh, are uh, the these uh, uh, peroxisomes and there uh, the uh, production is or uh, to convert the uh, fats into acetyl coenzyme a next uh, topic mein hum dekhenge what is the fate of this acetyl coenzyme a animal cells mein jo hai beta oxidation that also occurs in mitochondria but in plants and yeast cell uh, 
uh, beta oxidation exclusively takes place in peroxisome. So you can think about the importance of uh, these structures uh, in plant and yeast cell. Uh, besides uh, this beta oxidation reaction, if we look at the synthesis of plasmalogen, which is part of the uh, nervous system, uh, myelin sheet ka jo hai wo, uh, component hai as a phospholipid, uh, jo first reaction hai for the formation of plasmalogen that also takes place in these uh, peroxisomes and uh, uh, then if we talk about the uh, production of bile acids or proteins and uh, then uh, we see that we talk uh, that uh, this organelle plays its role now the question comes up that if all the enzymes they are translated in the cytoplasm how these uh, uh, enzymes go and get into the peroxisome uh, the same uh, concept uh, comes over here if you remember uh, the localization signals there are some peroxisomal targeting signals pts they bind with the proteins which has to go in the peroxisome and then these proteins uh, bind uh, or these signals bind with the surface proteins of uh, peroxisome so that uh, uh, these uh, enzymes they enter into the peroxisomes there are uh, uh, certain processes for which all these proteins are uh, uh, imported or uh, entered into the peroxisome as i mentioned beta oxidation of fatty acid they participate in synthesis of uh, cholesterol bile acid and as i mentioned plasmalogen uh, for synthesis is uh, initiated by these organelles so they play their role in myelin sheet synthesis similar to lysosomal diseases if there is any disorder with the peroxisome there will be certain uh, there is mutation with the peroxisome there will be certain disorders uh, associated with it for example x linked adrenoleukodystrophy this is uh, the disease of uh, nervous system because uh, in this disease myelin sheets of the neur neurons they are uh, they are defected this is because failure in the metabolism of uh, fatty acids ultimately myelin sheets ke upar bhi attack karta hai because uh, jab metabolism ki baat kar rahe as we mentioned plasmalogen ke hawale se baat ki so uh, this is going to affect the myelin sheet of the neurons and this uh, disease is uh, uh, common or young boys uh, they uh, get affected uh, this, with this the disease because this is an x linked uh, disease, uh, disease. Uh, that doesn't mean uh, that uh, young girls they don't uh, get affected uh, uh, with this disease but for them uh, uh, this uh, homozygous recessive condition has to occur so uh, if uh, heterozygous condition is there even then uh, the disease will not progress in females but in males as there is only one chromosome x chromosome so uh, the disease will uh, uh, will be common in young boys when we talk about uh, plants in plants the name of uh, and this uh, organelle peroxisome is referred as glyoxisome for the reason that uh, a specific metabolic cycle glyoxylic acid cycle or glyoxylate cycle that takes place within within these organelles agar aap soche that you uh, had a seed and uh, you uh, let it uh, like germinate uh, so that uh, roots and uh, stem or the, the seedling uh, grows so where from the energy comes during that period when uh, you had uh, uh, put that seed for germination in the soil aap logo ne seed oils ke hawale se bhi bahut pada hoga suna hoga that uh, seeds do have oils so these oils which are already present in seeds they are basically source of energy for uh, germination of the seed and uh, the, those lipids those lipids which are uh, present in the seeds they are metabolized by the glyoxylic acid cycle if you look at this picture that uh, this is glyoxylate cycle and we have a fatty acid it passes uh, through uh, this glyoxylate cycle and if you can see succinate is present there malate is present there glyoxylate is present there isocitrate and citrate more or less jitne uh, metabolite uh, glyoxylate cycle mein aap dekh rahe hain they are somehow present in the citric acid cycle as well so fatty acids which are metabolized in the glyoxylate uh, in the glyoxysome 
they are uh, uh, going to enter into citric acid pathway as uh, uh, acetyl fatty acetyl or fatty acyl coenzyme a so uh, the energy is produced by the metabolism of fatty acid then that energy is used for the germination of uh, these uh, uh, these uh, seeds unless until the they, these plants they become independent uh, for photosynthetic uh, purpose ab agar hum biochemical uh, reactions uh, ya cycles ko correlate kare to glyxolate cycle is related with the citric acid cycle and this citric acid cycle then um, is also going to be related with some other biochemical cycle and uh, ultimately for uh, gluconeogenesis or like uh, not glycogenolysis but gluconeogenesis is going to happen over here so that we can get the uh, sugars uh, for the use of uh, these seedlings